Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So today's video is going to be a nice quick one but quite a cool little system we're going to create and that is a super hot style movement where time only moves when you move. So obviously this has been used in other games than just super hot but that's the one that really popularized it. So we're going to be going over creating that today. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. If I hit play you'll notice that these cubes are falling but very very slowly and if I were to move they're going to fall quicker as I move as well I move quicker and obviously slow down when I stop moving because you'll notice time still moves when I'm not moving which is the same in the other games as well however it's just very very slow and then time moves normally when I am moving like so. So this is what we're going to be going over creating and setting up today you can obviously change it so time moves slower or doesn't move at all really whatever you want but this is what we're going to be going over and creating today so without further ado let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create an action mapping. So to do that, we're going to go to Edit, Project Settings, go down to Input, and then we want to create an action mapping here. We don't want an axis mapping, we want an action mapping. So we're going to hit the plus, name this whatever you want. For me, I'm going to name it Move Time, as that makes the most sense. And then in here, I'm going to add multiple buttons, and all of those are going to be my movement buttons. So for me, that's going to be W, A, S, D and space for moving and jumping. You can obviously do however many you want, so you can just do W if you wanted, you don't have to do space, and you can do crouching as well, so control on Z for prone, again, whatever you want. Basically, the player has to press one of these buttons to move time. So let me go ahead, get W, A, S, D, and space, as I mentioned earlier. So now I've got all the buttons which I want in here, and that's all we need to do. So we can now close this and now we want to open up our character blueprint. So I'm going to go to control space, content, third person, blueprints, BP, third person character, but for you it's going to be third, first or whatever you've named it. Now in here it's very simple. What we want to do first is obviously set it so time is going to be slow by default as by default the player is not moving. So we want to get event begin play. So you can hold down P and left click to get it or if that doesn't work that means you've already used it. So you can right click and just search begin play and it will take you to it like so. If you have already used it, hold down S, left click to get a sequence, connecting that to there, then zero going to the code you already have and then one going to the code we're about to do now. But as I've not already used it, I don't need that sequence. So what I'm gonna do out of event begin play is set global time dilation. And all this does is this really, it just speeds up and slows down time. So zero, obviously not moving, one is normal, two is twice as fast, so on and so forth, you get the idea. So by default, I'm gonna have it as 0.1. That's the speed I want it to slow down to. You don't have to do that speed if you wanted, you can do whatever speed you want, but that's what's gonna be good for me, and that's the speed I used at the start of the video. So obviously just mess about with it to get the perfect speed for you. Then underneath this, we're gonna right click and search for the action mapping we created earlier. So I named mine move time, like so. Off of pressed, we're going to again set global time dilation to 0.1 or just the same time you have up here. And off of released, we're going to set it back to 1. Although, sorry, that's the wrong way around. Pressed wants to be 1, released wants to be 0.1. So when we are moving, we're going to be going at normal speed. And when we're not moving, we're going to go back to the slow down speed. So we'll compile and save that. And that is the code now done and working perfectly for us. So we can close this and hit play to test it out. You notice time is moving slowly by default and when I move it's going to move at the normal speed and when I stop moving it's going to start slowing down again perfectly like so. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. Again very very simple to set up but it gives us this nice effect of time only moves when we move and when as soon as we stop moving or putting in an input time is going to slow down immediately once again which again gives us that nice super hot style movement or any other game which you like with this movement. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like, subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.